what was your biggest motivation for, um, you know, starting the ref uh, Reflex Coaches and, and working on it? Uh, what was it that you felt uh, was making what you were doing different? I think that people needed to be more aware. And that gave a platform for advertising and getting the word out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's affordable. Um, so uh, the, the person off the street could also afford it and understand it um, because it was written in such a way that anybody could basically understand um, what we are talking about. It's not just uh, people that have had a lot more uh, in-depth background on that or it could be a mom, so it could be um, any a student, it could be a caregiver, anybody that can attend and so it opens it up to a, a wider audience uh, for understanding as well. So that helped, that, that, that helped with the motivation to get this going. <laughs> so what was your biggest sort of um, experience with reflexes? Uh, when you started learning about reflexes, how did that uh, impact your family and how did it start making sense to you in general? Uh, like with most other things, you always try it on yourself first. <laughs> So I, noticed, <laughs> yes. so I noticed that uh, in myself I've had a, a, quite a few reflexes that needed working on um, and as I gained more knowledge on the reflexes, I started doing more courses on it, more reading on it, I realized that the more I read and the more I learned, the more there is to learn. So um, I just kept on uh, researching and looking for all the different types of reflexes that might be causing different things and um, noticing in my clients that they had certain issues that they needed to, to sort out um, and then trying to link them to the reflex to see maybe if it's not a reflex causing whatever their problem is. Um, and then I could make quite a few connections. So, um, and that again motivated me to just keep going and then learning more about these reflexes because um, my clients needed to to know the information. So I just I, I needed to to get it out there again um, and inform them that while they're thinking that it might be a major thing that's causing some of these symptoms or the things that they're going through is in fact just a baby reflex <laughs> that they need to integrate. So that was that was quite interesting. And, and the reactions I, I still get uh, from clients when I tell them that they have a baby reflex, they're like, oh, really? Baby <laughs> reflex. <laughs> so yeah, they, they're quite stunned when they find out that um, it's just a reflex causing all their havoc um, that's going on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, very, very interesting. So what kind of experience is it that you you have when you start working on your reflexes um yeah it is a quite quite an interesting one <laughs> depending on what reflexes um you have that are active um i've had a few reflexes that were tied to anxiety um and in the beginning it was actually to say it nicely it was quite frightful to work on these reflexes because it felt like um, something that was stuck finally came loose and now it's just it's it's a mixture I think between relief and then that sudden rush where that that reflex was was released and it's no longer causing all that so you feel so relieved that it's no longer there um, but still it, it creates quite a big um, reaction on the body it has quite a big reaction on the body, a physical reaction. So um, I, for example, I cried a lot um, and inconsolably. Um, it doesn't matter who tried what, they, they couldn't get me to calm down uh, sometimes. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know how else to say it. it was, for me, that was the biggest thing, was that, that emotional release I felt. Yeah, yeah by doing... very, very interesting. Mm. And did you feel that it was um, one specific point or was it like a process that you experienced these reflexes? Was there different levels in them? Mine was a process, yes. Um, I had a huge reaction the first time 
that um, my reflexes were properly worked on. Um, but because they were so deeply ingrained um, and they were so, they were there for such a long time and I was living off them for such a long time. Um, it took me quite a while to get them settled completely. Um, and I still think that there, there might be some that I haven't settled completely. So um, there's still work to be done. So it is a process. But it became easier. Um, the, uh, like I said, the first time we had this, this huge reaction, the huge emo emotional reaction, um, my body even felt weird. I had like a, a tightness in my chest and um, it felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, and then the subsequent sessions weren't that bad. Um, I still had a bit of crying, still had emotional reactions, uh, maybe delayed. I had uh, the longer I worked on it, um, the more the reactions became delayed so that I didn't have immediate reactions. I might feel different um, in the week following up to me having a um, either a procedure done or a um, balance done or you know work being done on my reflexes. So it was a process.